this is. This is Alberta um, when she was 16, okay, I'm so told. this is Grandma Birdie's mom. The, yes. Okay. Okay. These are sort of like debutante pictures. Oh, yeah. Um, Aunt Naomi and Aunt Myrtle and all the sisters. Yeah, she's got a huge yeah. hair bow. Had them. Yes, that does appear like it's a hair bow. Mm -hmm. Now, if you go and, and go to the picture next to it, mm -hmm. you see Alberta here. You see the oh, likeness. The same, yeah. Okay. And then these are her her siblings. This, well, that's a mother and father. That's Aura. She's the one that was the Hicks. Mm. And married um, Walton. Walton Lusby. This looks almost modern. Like if you just cover up this, this looks like a modern family photo. They're just so cute. Well, you can see this is the baby. This is like Aunt Lucille. That'd be Uncle Willis. Wasn't and he that's, the youngest? Yes, Uncle Willis was the youngest. And probably, um, uh, we were just talking about, we were just talking about, well, she just took a nap. That one. Is this Aunt Naomi? Mm hmm. And Aunt, Aunt, Aunt Myrtle? No, oh, that's Grandma. grandma. That's, that's her. Myrtle's down here. Oh, that's Aunt Myrtle? Okay. And that's, Great grandma. Mm -hmm. so That's says, Aura and Walton. So there's a James. So Alberta's older in this picture, right? Yes. Yeah, grandma's the oldest. She's the right. oldest. Huh? She's the oldest. Yeah, grandma's the oldest. Mom's no, no. the oldest. I'm the oldest. So okay. oldest daughter and oldest daughter. So here's James. Oh, he's the one that we got the article about. James. Colonel. Oh, okay. Mom's okay. got stories about him. He's a yeah. good looking boy. He looks like a nice kid. And where is Alton? That's Uncle Alton. This is this is the we were just talking about the daughter's name's Iris. What was his name? He lived up on um, in Camp Springs. It was just he and his wife and the daughter. Okay, so. Yeah. With that in mind, that while that is Lusby family, this is Cross. Mm -hmm. So this is Russell's father and mother. Okay. And this interchanges again, and this is um, Walton with his and Aura. Just with his wife alone. Yeah. Walton and Aura. Oh, the light there. Uh -huh. Where this is the crosses. This, oh, okay. This is uh, George and Hattie. George and Hattie. And but then this is Hattie. That is, looks like this. that picture's this. No, no, it's not the same day. No, no, no. Kurt and I are going to shut down while mm -hmm. you guys are talking. And then that's, that's her. It's her time. This, this lady is this lady. Right? Yes. The mom. Okay. Yes. Well, that could be the same day because she's wearing the same collar. I, I no. And he just took that thing off. See, that's his coat. Well, back then they also have decorative collars. So she can actually take this collar off and replace her collar. That was a thing. It does. Mm, yeah. So if you go to Hattie, mm -hmm. who was a Bell, B E A L L, mm -hmm. from Virginia, this is her father and her brother. Also from Virginia? Also from Virginia. I like their wooden furniture. Like unfinished sticks in the backyard. No, it's a chair. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it might even be a, <laughs> okay, a so glider of some kind. Huh. But I don't know where that came from. So then this so, is. So the, this is just the children playing together. Um, I recognize Alberta and I recognize this one who is Lucille. Um, I do believe these were some cousins that were visiting, and I don't remember who. I may have known at one point, but. And this is where? Virginia? No, this is down on the farm. Oh, okay. Uh, that would have been the, the farm that was up on Moore's Lane, where uh, Alberta grew up. Oh, I like this little baby. Cute, cute. Oh, the 
cutest and it's like probably, dirty knees and everything. Oh, yep. it is probably you know these. Okay. Are there any? Uh, or did I enclose the back? Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. In 1902. Mm -hmm. And George died um, in 1917 of cerebral hemorrhage. Oof! And Thus, left the cross to or left the, the farm that's over. the cross. Yeah. Therefore, Russell then, Russell and Alberta were married two years later mm -hmm. and moved in with grandmother. Okay, that's Cross. very common. So that's who they live with. Um, so here's, that there's, here's George again. Right. These are his brothers. These are his brothers. Boy, they look like they just uh, came back from the Civil War and they're ready to go party. <laughs> But this is the, the oldest story that I know of okay. about Russell dating Alberta. This is not Alberta. Russell uh, and his sister Helen went to a church function, mm -hmm. okay, and he had Helen in the, the buggy. But when he left, he had Alberta in the buggy. Oh, just for and Helen, no, or? he was going to take her home. Oh. And Helen said, "How am I going to get home?" And he mm -hmm. said, "Well, there are lots of people here that can take you to your house." Jeez, Louise. And he took Alberta home, and it just tickled her <laughs> to pieces. Um, because it was a fair little ride. Sure. So it would have been a a, a church picnic kind of thing. Um, now if you switch parties here. Um, Alberta's mother is, where's Aura? Aura's. Here's Aura. Oh, there we go. That's the one from the other video. Okay, right. And Aura's mother is, she Mar is Maria Hamilton Hicks. Maria or Mariah? Mariah, whichever okay. that says. Yeah, Mr. Hicks's lady. Okay. And we don't have a picture of Mr. Hicks on this one, do we? No, we don't. Okay. We do have that where we have great grandfather George Cross. Mm -hmm. This is his father. Okay. Great great grandfather John Cross. Boy. And just just for commenting, mm -hmm. John was hatched. What does that mean? We cannot find his parents. We cannot find where he was born. We cannot we can find him in a census in 50. Mhm. Mm in 1850 that's the first sentence census that lists people by name. Okay. Um, we can find him when he marries his second wife in 51 and begins to have all of these, George mm. and, and the brothers and sisters, you know, the, the siblings. But he has been a challenge for more than 30, 40 years, and I'm not the only one looking for him. I think maybe he's wanted to be anonymous. No. <laughs> He was married to, or maybe he was another married. lady for several years, and then she didn't make the 1850 census, but a child did, who was one year old. His child. His child. Okay. And but not him. But he and his child. Oh, okay. Okay, but not the mother. Uh huh. And. He was married to her from 1846, so he was married to her for 44 years, at least. And we can't find where she went, where, you know, where her family, hmm. it was just sort of a puzzle puzzle. Yeah, sure. Well, if they move in between censuses, then that's that. Well, in the 1840 census, it would only say um, John Cross, two adults, two, you know, but it oh. would just list things like that. Now this is Russell in Alberta with uh, Hattie Alberta, or Bertie that's yeah. here, and Russell, that, the second child, out under the tree in their front yard. And then this is Bertie with both of the, her brothers. <laughs> now there were other children. Um, there was a firstborn that was born before Bertie. That's the one where the the angel of death came. Yes, and got the, that, yeah. that was a blue baby. Can you tell me that story in your, from what you have heard? And compared to what I experienced, hmm. um, 
she always told the story, you know, you, they, you had your babies in, in your house. Mm -hmm, right. And she was upstairs, and she had had the baby. And my understanding is that the baby was about a, a week old and um, not doing well. And uh, just she was by herself with the baby, holding the baby. Or maybe the baby was in the crib beside her. I heard it was in the crib. Yeah. And um, the baby was making like a gurgling sound. Oh. And she actually saw the shadow of death come in the side window, as she described it, and just just go quietly across the wall until it crossed the crib. And uh, when it it stopped over the crib, and when it proceeded, then the baby had stopped breathing. Oh. So we had, you know, we'd always, whenever we had a something that we knew was a death we always kind of looked around you know with, and when her husband russell uh birdie's dad mm -hmm. was in the hospital um which would have been oh no this is her brother russell right would have been russell okay, there or russell go. ah good better so uh birdie and i were the two that were in his hospital room and we actually did see the uh, shadow of death come through the window and come across the wall and it's the only other time I've, I've only time I've seen it in my life and Bertie said the same thing wow is it is it a scary thing or is it like no. oh here you go no, no Just... it was very comforting wow very very comforting uh, to identify it and and to feel you just felt like the spirit of the Lord was in the room and um, he was here to to help hmm. the transition. You know, in uh, Proverbs and and earlier in the Bible, they talk about Sheol and Abaddon, and one is the spirit of death and one is a spirit of destruction or something like that. But the spirit of death, it's not a bad thing. It's not a demon. That that's his job. He's the he comes and he collects people. Um, that's that's his job. So he, I guess the angel of death. But it's not a scary thing. It's not a demonic thing. It's not. Whatever he just that's right. He's, he does Didn't this in service to the Lord. Yeah. The, the the only thing that I question is is why it's for some why I can why I why did I see it for for Dad? Hmm. Why did Bertie Bertie and I in the same room? You don't see that for your mom. No. Oh. Weird. No. Is there a difference in religious beliefs or? I don't. My, um. My mother was laying in the chair in the living room, and um, I was awakened by something because I was sleeping in the chair, beside, you know, in there also. And she took a big puff of air and let a big puff of air out, mm -hmm. and then she did a second one, mm -hmm. and I was, you know, beside her by then. But this is at nighttime. Maybe you can't see the shadow at nighttime. This is very true. <laughs> there you go. This is very true. <laughs> yeah. So, um, further along in life, because Bertie is now married, and this is Linda, this is Bertie's mother, this is Bertie's grandmother, Aura Lusby, and then this is wonderful Grandma Cross. Oh, this is like a Mother's Day picture. Yeah. yeah. I, I imagine that's Oh, yeah, look, exactly they've got their little corsages on, too. Yeah. Like a Sunday Mother's Day. And this is an older one. Um, oh, that's her school picture. She's the second one from the left in the plaid dress. <laughs> I like the, the hair roll, how they would roll it all the way around the back. Yes. There's another one of those huge bows. The bow's bigger than her head itself. <laughs> and there's Birdie's wedding picture. Yeah, I got that one. Stunning. She looks like a movie star. Oh, Joe and his parents, Will and Kitty. Mm-hmm. Well, I got everybody in there, didn't I? <laughs> Kit Kitty meaning Catherine, Catherine with a C or a K, but it's undecided and no one will tell us. I wonder, even on census records, they just say whatever they want to say. Oh, yeah, because yeah. you don't say... Kitty with a K or Catherine with a K. No, it, you just say whatever. I'm, I'm like you just leave it to the now. Grandma thing. would just say I'm Birdie. What deal with it? <laughs> Could be, yeah. And then this one, where is this located? Um, 
it is on the uh, Lesby Farm. Okay, so now this is just one of several properties? No, that is the house that okay. all of the, the Lesby children grew up in. Okay. It looks absolutely massive. Um, it's pretty big. I mean, there were nine children. Yeah, but still, I mean, back in the day, you crammed nine children in one room. <laughs> this, <laughs> oh, this is huge. Is I mean, it looks like you could run a school out of this. What do you think that is? Five bedrooms? Oh, I have no idea. Huge, huge. Did the, do you know, if there's a porch go around and everything? All that whole wrap around porch? I don't know that I have any bigger picture than that. I have a modern day picture of it, which has changed quite a bit. And it just has a, you know, a porch that goes across the front. Mm. So that it's, it's. Facing wherever the field is, right? Yes. Yeah. And it's a, you know, the. I think it's a window in the center and two windows, I mean, a window on either side. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, hi. Is this what you wanted? Oh, this? I, I think we've gone through that. And then Richard and, Richard Horatio, this one is, who, great, great grandparents. Oh boy, oh boy. She's got one of those bone corsets probably. Yes, she does. Ouch. That looks painful. And they said that she, um, she's in the church. I mean, in the the Lesby history that I wrote up, that she was such, such an um, distinct person that if she borrowed a thimbleful of salt from you, mm -hmm. she returned a thimbleful of salt. Oh, that sounds intense. I don't want to be her friend. Yes. I would, everything tit for tat. Everything. Oh boy. What's wow. she got there? 